Good morning and welcome to another Friday. Made it through another week, very cold week. Uh, only four weeks to spring break, but who's counting? It has definitely been a weather-filled um, two-hour delay, snow day uh, week for us all. So it's, it's already a shortened week because of President's Day. But then, um, you know, every time I feel like I got my lessons put into Canvas and set, uh, I would get another message on my phone uh, and it would change. And so definitely trying to embrace that idea of the pivot. And it's been just the year of the pivot. So uh, why not, you know, continue that tradition? So um I've heard from several kids, you know, stories about going sledding for the first time and that kind of thing, building snowmen. And uh, I just really enjoy hearing that. So, um, you know, these kinds of things uh, provide us, you know, opportunities to develop a lot of, of uh, lessons beyond the classroom. And those kind of priceless experiences are things that are, you know, uh, very long lasting. And so I keep thinking about that throughout this year as far as um, experiences that these kids are getting beyond the curriculum, you know, beyond the classroom. And so, uh, you know, sometimes that learning that takes place, you know, in those kinds of situations are, are, are important if not more important than what's happening in the classroom. So uh, be, 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 you know, embrace that. That's what I keep telling myself. Um, and so as far as the learning schedule for next week, I had hoped that we would have heard from uh, administration or the school board last night after their meeting, um, which uh, we didn't. So uh, I, I, um, I'm not sure what our schedule will look like in March, uh, you know, if we're going to be blended or all in person. I suppose we will find out today. So um, we'll want to keep that in mind. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the weather for next week. So this is what the weather looks like right now. But next week, it's going to look considerably better. So uh, looking forward to that. So, um, you know, um, just, you know, optimistic about where we're going. And so hopefully we'll have some more information as far as like the weather clearing up and our schedule for March and, and that'll march us forward. Uh, as far as the curriculum and what I, what I have planned for next week, um, we're, uh, should be finishing up in science with climate change. Uh, I gave out the quiz uh, yesterday and allowed kids to take it at home if they wanted to. Uh, we'll try to finish that up today. Um, you know, we're going to have, uh, you know, uh, try, trying to, uh, you know, different cohorts and different times. So we're trying to kind of wrap that up um, either today or on Monday. But if the, you know, the kids, if you look, go into Canvas and you see that there's still not a grade for this quiz, if you would please remind them that they need to take that. And remember, they can use their science notebooks. So I'm not worried about them, you know, cheating at home and that kind of thing. Um, I'm kind of beyond that. So uh, just have them, you know, take the quiz. They can use their notebook. We're good. Um, you know, show you know, what they, what they, what they know, what they've learned and will be good. And then next week we're going to move into more of the biology stuff. So DNA structure, that's what we're going to be doing with science for next week. In honor science, we've already finished DNA structure and we're moving more into RNA and protein synthesis. I hope to wrap that up, you know, at the end of this week, uh, beginning of next week. Again, the weather has kind of uh, maybe pushed that back a little bit. So I'm hoping that I can give the quiz to honors on DNA structure and protein synthesis at the end of next week. So, um, you know, that's how that'll be wrapping up. So I uh, hope to finish up wrapping up a lot of this stuff uh, 
you know, this week and next week. And then we'll be moving forward uh, with, uh, in honor science, we're going to be moving into uh, reproduction. So um, thank you so much for all that you do as parents and caregivers. Uh, certainly uh, been asking a lot of you this year, and I really appreciate um, how many of you have really stepped up and, and helped me do my job. Uh, as as best as I can. So thank you so much.